Hello, I'm Hardware Thrift, and today I'm going to be going over what this device is and uh, how it works and how you can use it in your computer. So as I had mentioned before, in today's video I'd be going over what this component is and how you can use it in your computer. So this is a 2 by SATA to 6 pin PCIe power connector. And what this can be used for is, let's say you have a graphics card that you're plugging into like a pre-built system or any kind of system and you need a 6 pin power connector but the power supply you have does not have one. What this can do is you can use two of your SATA power adapters, so that's what these are. You can plug those into those SATA power adapters and then provide power to that graphics card through this adapter using those SATA ports. And then that way you don't have to buy a whole new power supply just to, uh, just to be able to power your graphics card. And so what this video is, is I see a lot of misconceptions about these on their reliability and how they actually work. So I'm going to be breaking down kind of how the math works on one of these and why you can actually use your two SATA ports to power that, uh, that six pin connector on your graphics card. And I'll be going over some other like simple power supply uh, mathematics. So without further ado, let's go into the math. All right, so to understand how this SATA by two to six pin PCI adapter works, we got to understand some of the wiring codes coming from our power supply. So we're going to go over four major ones. Uh, three of them are going to be our actual voltage rails and one of them are going to be our ground. So our black wire here is going to be our ground wire. Our red wire is going to be our plus five volts. Our yellow wire, which is the one we're going to be focusing on most today, is going to be our plus 12 volt rail. And the orange wire, which we won't really see much, is our plus 3.3 volt rail. So how does this affect a six pin connector? So when you look at a six pin connector, it's usually going to have four to six wires going into it depending on how it's actually wired. So for this one, we're going to have two grounds. And with those two grounds, we're going to have, this is going to be the best yellow color you've ever seen. We're going to have, we're going to have two 12 volt connections going in. So each of those 12 volt connections has its own ground. And then after that, we're gonna jump one of those 12 volt connections and that's gonna go into one of the open slots and then we're gonna jump one of those grounds and that'll go into another open slot. So all six of those pins are connected. But the one thing to remember is you're going to have two of those 12 volt rails going into that six pin connector. So how does this work with our SATA? So our SATA connectors, if you think this is, if you look at this like it's directly coming from the power supply, our SATA connector is going to have three different wires coming into it. It's going to have our red wire, which is our, oh, that's, that's a black one again. Well, it's going to have a black wire, which is a ground. It's going to have a red wire. It's going, oh my gosh, it's going to have a red wire, which is our plus five volt rail, and it's going to have a yellow wire, which is going to be our 12 volt rail. So when you're making these adapters, the two really important ones that you want to draw from in your SATA is your 12 volt rail and your ground. So, if we have those three colors coming in, these are our SATA connectors for our SATA to 6 pin. That's going to select the 12 volt rail, plug it in, and that's why you're going to need two of these because your 6 pin connector is going to need two of those 12 volt rails. And then you're going to have your two grounds coming in, another ground coming in, and just like before, one of the grounds is going to be tied into an open pin and one of the uh, 12 volt rails is going to be tied into an open pin. And that's what's going to give you that SATA to six pin connector. So you've got both of your 12 
12 volt rails and you have your two grounds so now you can power that six pin connector. The question is why does this work? How can you do this? And what's some of the math behind it? Oh this is the fun part. So when you're looking at a graphics card if it has a six pin connector on it so if it needs an input of a six pin so oh, we're still in yellow I'm gonna delete that when it needs that input of a six pin connector so let's say it needs six pins that six pin connector is going to draw 75 watts from whatever is connected to it so that's going to try to draw 75 watts and when you look at your 12 volt rail that 12 volt rail a single rail is going to have 5 amps maximum running through it so 5 amps and that means if you didn't know volts times your current or your amps is going to equal you your power so 12 times 5 amps is only 60 watts that means if your power or if your GPU is trying to draw 75 watts from your power supply only connecting one of those 12 volts rails isn't going to be enough to supply that 75 watts because you're only getting 60 so the idea is they're gonna take two of those and plug those in to get that 75 watts because then you have a total output of those rails at 120 watts which is more than enough to power that 75 watt uh, six pin connector. And so that's what you're going to be seeing coming out of those two SATA ports is you're gonna be getting 60 watts from each of those for a total of 120 watts to power that 75 watt connector. Uh, in another sense, so let's say, let's look at an eight pin connector. An eight pin connector for your power supply or your GPU is once again going to have eight pins obviously and so when you see an eight pin connector on a GPU that eight pin connector is going to be trying to or is going to attempt to draw 150 watts from whatever is powering it so if you want to figure out how many of those 12 volt rails you'll need to connect to it you can actually figure out how these eight pins are made just from doing a little math so as before, we remembered we have a 12 volt rail and that has 5 amps maximum going through it and that's going to equal 60 watts of power. If we want that 60 watts of power, we have to add it together to get to see what gets us 150. And we know that 60 times 3 is going to give us 180, which will be more than enough to power that 150 watt connector. So that means we're going to need 3 of those 12 volt rails running into that 8 pin connector. So then our 8 pin connector is going to be set up somewhat like this. You're going to have a 12 volt rail, a 12 volt rail, a 12 volt rail, and then you're going to have grounds on each of those. In that way you're getting the proper wattage to run that power or that GPU. I hope this helped. I hope the math wasn't too boring in it. I hope it added something a little bit interesting. But uh, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you like and subscribe and tell me what you want to see next. What have you been wondering about that you don't really know that I can help explain? Thank you and until next time, I'll see you again.